Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. We begin with the Asian woman in Queens angry after she says she was attacked and spoken to in a racist way at a local boutique. She spoke exclusively with CBS 2's Kieran Dillon. 25 year old Bea Cruz says she felt compelled to pull out her cell phone and start filming after an employee at a Queens boutique allegedly became aggressive and spoke in a racist manner towards her. Who are you to say that I came in to actually support your business? The incident happened around 10 30 in the morning on Friday. Cruz, a full time nurse, says she was shopping in Mako, a boutique in Forest Hills, Queens, when she began asking the male employee some pricing and return policy questions. She says he was rude to start and things quickly escalated. Turn around, blew up. You talk too much. This is not China, this is America. I got triggered because that's racist. Cruz said she tried to talk the employee down, but eventually he attempted to rip the clothes from her hands. He's like, give me, no, I'm, you can't buy this. At this moment, I'm still like, I will buy this. Just don't say that to me. Cruz, a member of the Filipino community, says she began filming at the register after the hostile situation became even more tense. He took the metal hanger and was like, that whips me with the romper that he had in, in his hand. CBS 2 News spoke to the employee in question. He denies saying anything racist to Cruz and says she was a disruptive customer. The owner of the store would not comment when we spoke to him by phone and asked our crew to leave his business. Cruz, meanwhile, says she shopped at this store many times before and has never had a bad experience with this employee. She says more needs to be done to combat anti-Asian sentiment. Stop. Others agree. Amidst a recent spike in hate crimes against Asian Americans around the country, hundreds of people gathered at a rally in Queens Sunday to speak out against anti-Asian hate. If you hate, get the hell out of here because you don't belong in New York City. Anyone who engages in hate against the Asian community or any other community, we will use the full force of the law against you. Back in Forest Hills, Bea Cruz is grateful for the support from elected officials. She hopes it will empower members of her community to speak out if they are targeted. It's a shame to Forest Hills that there's something going on like this actively here. Cruz says she plans to make a formal complaint to police. In the meantime, she wants the store and the employee to issue an apology, not to her, but to members of this community. In Forest Hills, Queens, Karen Dillon, CBS 2 News.